Uh, one time I was playing at 14th Street and a gentleman came up from the platform to where I was on the mezzanine and he told me that he was following the sound. He said that he had to find out the source of the sound because when he heard it, he didn't know what it was and he thought that he died and he was in heaven and he was hearing angels sing. <laughs> My name is Natalia Peruz, but everyone calls me the Saw Lady. They call me the Saw Lady because I play the musical Saw. playing in the subways and first in the streets for about 18 years now. For me playing in the subway, playing in public spaces where people are, that is, that is my biggest passion of all. Because I love to share my music, I love to connect with people through the music and the music enables me to connect with people that I would never be able to connect with in any other way. Before I became a saw player, I was a dancer. But then one day I was coming back from Lincoln Center, I crossed Central Park South and a taxi cab came from around the corner and hit me. And that was the end of my dance career. I was devastating because my entire childhood I was like, you know, I'm going to be a dancer. That's all I thought, dance, dance, dance. So when all of a sudden that was taken away from me, I did not know what to do with my life until I discovered the saw. That was my the beginning of my new life. After the accident, my parents wanted to cheer me up, so they took me on a trip to Europe. And as a kid, I really liked the movie The Sound of Music. I watched it like 14 times. So my parents thought that if they take me to the places where it was shot, they would elevate my spirit. very first time since the accident about I was excited about something other than dance. I went backstage and I asked the soul player if he would teach me how to play. And he said no. He said go home, pick up a soul, any you know regular soul from a hardware store, imitate what you've seen me do on stage and figure it out. So that's what I did. And I figured it out. <laughs> drives my art is my, uh, my love for, uh, for the sound and my love for the instrument, the fact that when you play the soul, it's, uh, it's sort of like a dance because it's one of the only instruments that the entire instrument moves when you play it, so it's uh, reminiscent of my previous career. And I love the sound, which is so otherworldly and spiritual and angelic. and it gives me a lot of energy. Um, I don't know who gets more, if they get more from listening to me or I get more from watching them. And, and for me, communication is the most important thing. And I sort of use the music as an excuse for that, to reach out to people. And not only for me to connect with them, but also to get people to connect with one another. I would say to young artists who are um, struggling, uh, trying to uh, get into this world, that basically they have to follow their heart and application and diligence and cheerful persistence will get them where they want to go.